Hey everyone, in this video we'll be showing that if you have two separate inequalities here that you can add the corresponding entries so long as you line up the inequality symbol properly. And so now this exercise is exercise 1.1.11 which says let f be an ordered field and x, y, z, and w be an f. Prove part 7 of proposition 1.1.8 that is, if x is less than or equal to y and z is less than or equal to w, then x plus z is less than or equal to y plus w. And then part b will be the same as part a, but we just have this inequality as a strict inequality. All right, so let's work with part a. Now, I want to mention before we start that this problem can be found in your free online real analysis textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. All right, so let's start off by listing out our assumptions. Okay, so let F be an ordered field and let X, Y, Z, and W be an F. Assume X is less than or equal to Y and Z is less than or equal to W. Okay, so we can't assume our conclusion. We can't just add these two inequalities together. We're not allowed to do that. But what I can do is I can add an element to both sides of either of these inequalities here. So long as I'm adding the same element on both sides. So notice that's not circular reasoning because in this case, we're not adding the same element to both sides. We're adding separate elements to both sides. So since f is an ordered field, we can add z to both sides of this inequality to get x plus z is less than or equal to y plus z. And we can also add y to both sides of this inequality to get z plus y is less than or equal to w plus y. So that's just the result of me adding y to both sides of this inequality. So those are legal moves. I'm allowed to do that because that's what I get for free from an ordered field. Now addition is commutative, meaning we can swap the order of what we add. And so we can write this as x plus z is less than or equal to y plus z, which equals z plus y, and z plus y is less than or equal to w plus y, which means that x plus z is less than or equal to w plus y. So we don't have to assume that this is true by an axiom. We can actually prove that this is true using the axioms of an ordered field. All right, so that was part A. Let's do part B now. So now we're going to assume that x is less than y and z is less than or equal to w. So now we're working with this assumption right here, and we're trying to prove that this inequality is true. Well, let's take a look at our assumption real quick. There are two possibilities. First, it might be the case that z equals w, since either z is equal to w or z is less than w. So if z equals w, then I can add z to both sides to this inequality to get x plus z is less than y plus z. But since z equals w, this equals y plus w, which says that x plus z is less than y plus w, which is what we wanted to show. I might have swapped y and w here, but that's totally fine because addition is commutative in ordered fields anyways. So that works, uh, but that was case one. What about case two? Well, in this case, z is less than w, strictly less than w. Well, then we can use the same line of reasoning that we did in part A right here, but instead of using this less than or equal to symbol, we can make it a strict inequality instead. So z is less than w and x is less than y. That's the assumption here. Assume x is less than y and z is less than or equal to w. We have that x is less than y. 
And so now I can add elements to both sides of these inequalities, so long as I'm adding the same element to both sides. That's what I'm allowed to do. I'm not allowed to add different elements to both sides because that would be circular reasoning. So I'm going to start by adding y to both sides on this inequality. Now, why did I pick y and why did I pick this inequality? Well, keep in mind what we're trying to show. We're trying to show that this inequality right here is true. And so if you notice right here, I have a y plus w. How can I get a y plus w from either of these two inequalities? Well, I can either add w to both sides here, or I can add y to both sides here. And so that's why I'm adding y to both sides. But if I add y to both sides here, that means in order to get x plus z, I need to add z to both sides here to get that x plus c here. And so now I have w plus y and x plus z, and in between I have y plus z, which means x plus z is less than y plus z, which equals z plus y by the commutative property of addition. That's an important property. Don't just assume that you get to get that for free. Keep in mind we're working with an ordered field though, so we get to use the commutative property of addition here. And z plus y is less than w plus y. And here I have a sandwich. So x plus z is less than w plus y here. That's the end here. That's what I wanted to show. And so regardless of whether z is equal to w up here, or z is less than w, either way, this inequality holds, my conclusion holds, which is what I'm trying to show, that x plus z is less than w plus y. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.